An oil change is one of the most common jobs done by do-it-yourself mechanics, and changing your oil regularly is the most important maintenance task for long engine life. Your oil's ability to lubricate well decreases over time due to breakdown of additives and a buildup of combustion deposits. High temperatures also play a toll. Synthetic oil can last longer than conventional oil, but keep in mind, metal particles, dirt, and combustion byproducts will cause engine wear no matter what kind of oil you're using. Eventually, they become an abrasive, circulating with the oil and further wearing your engine. Check your hands manual for our recommendation on how often your vehicle needs an oil change. And even if it's rarely run, every engine should get an oil change at least once a year. But it's easy when Hanes shows you how. Here's all you'll need. A jack and jack stands, oil, the filter, a funnel so you don't make a mess, and then one wrench for the drain plug and one wrench for the oil filter. Then of course, the drain pan to catch the old oil. That's it. You can generally do the oil change yourself in the time you'd spend waiting for the shop to do it for you. And every time you do, you'll save 10 to $25. A dedicated oil drain pan will allow you to safely transport the oil or easily transfer it to a jug for recycling. We're using a drain pan with a spot to drain the filter, but you can use almost any bucket if you don't mind getting it oily. Warm oil will drain easier and get rid of more sludge and deposits, so it's best to change the oil after running the engine for 5 to 10 minutes or taking a short drive. Just be careful of the hot exhaust system, and remember, the oil may be hot too. In most cases, you'll first need to raise and support the vehicle for better access. On many modern vehicles, like this Jeep Cherokee, there'll be a plastic shield under the motor, which may have to be removed. Jeep was thoughtful enough to put access doors for the filter and the drain plug in theirs. Find the drain plug on the oil pan and place the pan under it. Wipe the dirt and grime away from the drain plug area, then carefully loosen the plug. The oil may spurt some distance at first, so position the pan accordingly. Let the oil drain thoroughly, usually about 10 minutes, until it slows to just a drip. Then reinstall the drain plug, but be careful not to over tighten. Next, locate the oil filter and place the drain pan underneath. The initial loosening of the filter usually requires a special wrench. There's a number of different filter wrench designs. Some are like big pliers, some are a metal strap, and some are specific to the filter. The most important thing is finding the one that fits where the filter is in your car's engine compartment. Carefully remove the filter, remembering that it's still full of hot oil, and set it in the pan to drain. Some cars use a drop-in cartridge type filter, instead of the typical replaceable metal can. Changing it is similar, but you might have a hard time spotting it if you're looking for a metal canister. Your hands manual can help you here. Pour some fresh oil into the new filter, and wipe some oil on the o-ring before installing. Install and tighten the new filter by hand. Do not use a wrench, and take care not to over tighten the filter. Typically, you want to turn it until the O-ring touches the sealing surface, then three quarters to one turn more. Follow the instructions on the filter or the box it came in. Finally, refill the engine with the correct amount and type of oil. Check the oil level. Then start and run the engine, making sure the oil pressure warning light turns off. On this Chevy Colorado, and many GM cars, you reset the oil change reminder light by pressing the trip reset button three times, then holding it in until you hear the beeps. Your Haynes manual will have details on how to reset the reminder light on your specific vehicle. Wait a few minutes for the oil to settle back to the pan and recheck the oil level, then you're done. And that's all there is to it. But be sure to dispose of your old motor oil and filter properly. The auto parts store you bought it from should take it back and recycle it. Or your town or county may have a municipal collection center.